Lots of unanswered questions for investigators and the family. The deputy fire commissioner says that the bodies were burned beyond recognition. Two adults in that first floor unit where we're told the fire started. I just instantly hopped up and came over here. Like, I'm just hoping that it's not him. Even for family members, there's uncertainty as to who died in a fire at this home on Pengree Street around 630 this morning. We hope it is not our brother in there. Um, for sure, it was one of our uncles. They say one of the victims is their uncle, Gene Harris, and that they're having trouble contacting their brother, Frederick Rushing. Both lived on the first floor where firefighters found them in the front room. It was extremely intense. It went into the second floor and, um, and then, of course, ended up burning into the roof area. That second floor unit unoccupied at the time. Detroit Deputy Fire Commissioner David Fornell says while this fire isn't being investigated as suspicious, he says it's not clear if the pair died before the fire started. Because of the condition of the bodies, the medical examiner is going to have to do an autopsy. And then if, if something happened to them before, then it would be determined that at this particular point uh, here, we, we can't determine that. The family believes something more is at play and are calling for a thorough investigation as they await definitive confirmation on who died. I mean, all we can do is pray and hope that it's not. We just really want to find out. We just really want answers, and we just really, if it is anything, we really want justice. Um, and that's just kind of where we are right now. Again, the exact cause of the fire has not been determined and remains under investigation. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.